Do you ever have problems speaking up? Nope. This is Reed Mahako from ReadMySex.com. Nope. Kathy Bartuli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. I just want to keep yelling the whole video. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're so patient for listening. Yeah, you really are. Okay. Um, so we're just we're talking about saying no to flirting. Yep. And I realize that I have a pattern when I want to speak up. Mm -hmm. That if it's not important to me, if I don't really know the person very much, or I probably won't interact with them a lot, I tend not to speak up because it's not important. Mm -hmm. And then when it is really important... And then I should speak up, like for sure. I don't have the skills. Exercise those muscles. Right. And then it's too important and I decide to keep quiet. So I, I just was noticing that when we were talking about that, I'm sure I'm not the only person that has this tendency to like, mm -hmm. oh, it's not important enough to go through the effort and the, the discomfort of speaking up. So I'll wait till later. Yeah. If you're like that, leave a comment right now. Like tell us like, I'm like that too. Call yourself out. Because it helps when we see, oh my goodness, there's more people than just me doing this. And then you don't feel alone. And that can be a, a good like, oh, okay. A yeah. way to, to start anchoring that you can change this. Yeah. So what I would encourage you to do, and I'd love any thoughts you have, but is practice the times like whenever you catch yourself thinking, oh, this isn't important enough to speak up. Think of it as a, a practice time. Like, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're not going to show up at the big race having never practiced racing, so to speak. So you can like, hey, I'm kind of awkward at this. and We don't know each other very well. And I'm going to practice. I'm going to start building that muscle up with people that I don't have a big investment with. Mm -hmm. So that I, when I can, I can keep the relationships that really matter clean. And I might, during the process of cleaning things up, build a deeper relationship with the people mm -hmm. that are there. Yeah, when you talk about, and again, this is, this is me and my own weirdness of experience. Like when you tell people about social cues and social weirdness that you're going through, most people are like, Oh yeah, like I totally get that. Yeah. So when you say to somebody, hey, you know what? I'm noticing something that I, I want to speak up about because I'm, I've set my goal for this year to get better at speaking up about stuff. Mm -hmm. May I practice with you? Most people are like so curious yeah. about, well, what is it? Um, a lot of people will say yes. Um, and then because you named it, one, for me, the anxiety becomes a little less because mm -hmm. now I got the ball rolling. Um, because I checked in with somebody and they're like, well, this is curious. No one's ever done this at a cocktail party. <laughs> well, yes, please tell me. Um, then I feel like I've got, you know, um, a yes from them and I got a green light. So that makes it even easier. And then I can practice the thing. Yeah. So, um, one of the things I encourage people to do, and I try to remember myself too, is that I can be present with feelings that aren't comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to want to avoid them. We tend to want to distract ourselves from them or do something else. Um, grounding exercises on thrivingnow.com forward slash grounding. Different ways to be present with the feelings in your body in mm -hmm. the moment um, can be really powerful ways to get through that. And just breathing through it and realizing it's not going to last forever. It's like this momentary discomfort that lets you build up the muscle. So like lifting a weight, if you haven't lifted weights, can be kind of uncomfortable. It reminds you you're out of shape. It feels like the, it's heavy. You don't feel strong. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. Yeah. And there's usually not that muscular soreness after speaking up. Maybe there's some emotional soreness the next day. Um, but this too shall pass. Yeah. I hope this helped. I'd love to know if you have this experience too. Please leave comments below. Leave your com comments and thoughts now, please. Or hit subscribe. Or do all of it. Just go, go hog wild. <laughs> Make it rain. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there. If you'd like to see more of you reading Kathy, there's more videos there. See the play there!